first one of the first things that strikes you is the cold reality of the place. Visited at night, a razor wire glistened under the searchlights, and one thing that's perfectly perfectly clear is that nobody's getting out of here. It was depressing. You feel the weight of it from the moment you pull in the parking lot. When you meet the men who come to WCI Presbyterian, you see the transforming power of Christ. Most of us see prisoners as bad guys who have all grown up in really rough places. They've all been changed. Their hearts have been softened. But you can see, in the midst of this very ugly place, their authentic joy. You also see a kind of seriousness that you wouldn't expect. You see men who put in the time to study, who are serious about worship, and serious about expressing their gratitude to Christ, because they know, in a more profound way than most of us, that he died to redeem them. It's one of the most striking things. These are convicts. They know they're guilty sinners. It's not abstract or theoretical for them. And they realize in a very profound way what it means that Christ shed his blood for them. My sense is that they have a far better grasp on that than I do, than I think many Christians do. I was impressed with how Lee treats these men. This congregation is a lot different from the one he serves at Faith Presbyterian. And yet he shows great respect for their intellect. And they respond. They ponder everything he has to say. And it's easy to see that the work Faith Presbyterian is doing is paying great dividends, not just in the lives of these men, but in the lives of their families and in the neighborhoods where they come, they come from. We're told in Hebrews 13 to remember those who are in prison as if we were in prison with them. And in Matthew 25, Jesus says, I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. I'm a middle class white guy from the suburbs, and I'll tell you, it's hard to walk up through the prison gate and into the yard. It's just not a thing many of us would choose to do. But more of us would find great joy by visiting those in prison. These men love the Reformed faith, they love the truths of Scripture. And I know that Lee Capper and others at Faith Presbyterian would help any way they can. Here's the number. I hope that some of you will be inspired to call Lee and to learn what the prison ministry has meant to his congregation. <laughs>